Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take your drone photo and put property lines around the the listing. And this one is a good example that I'm showing because it is pretty confusing. This is the main house on the property. There's a few other ones tucked in behind these trees, but you can't see it. But this house right here is not part of the property, and neither is this house. So looking at this drone photo, it would be very confusing to know, wow, I'm getting three houses sitting on this property with lake frontage. Well, not exactly, but it's interesting because the property kind of cuts around behind this house. You do get some lake frontage right here, then it goes around here. I'm going to show you how to put property lines on an image. Now, I recommend you uh, deliver, if you're a real estate photographer, delivering both the one with and without the property lines. That way, the realtor has a choice whether or not to show that. So for in this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I just want to duplicate this layer. In case we screw up big time, we can just delete that top layer instead of backtracking all the way. So all I'm going to do is hit Command and then J. That'll duplicate the layer. And again, make sure that your top layer is selected. And we're going to come over here to the Brush Tool, and you're going to click on that. Actually, I'm sorry. You're going to right-click on that and choose Pencil Tool. This is now where we are going to start drawing in our property lines, but I'm going to show you a really easy way to do that where you don't have to physically draw the lines. So I don't know if you can see my little dot. I have it set to about 14, I believe that's pixels. That's how wide uh, the diameter is. Of, so we can maybe make that 17. That'll give it a little bit thicker. And again, I don't want to do white for this example because you wouldn't be able to see it because obviously we had some snow coverage and it wouldn't be invisible. Black wouldn't show up either too well. I decided to choose red. So if you come down here, you're going to know once you select that, you can select this white if it's by default white down here. I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to click somewhere in this color like that and hit OK. And now that's going to give me red for that okay now to start laying our property lines so what you want to do is I don't know if it's gonna be hard to see I am going to select a corner of the property and I'm just gonna click and it made a red dot right there and then I'm gonna come over to my next point where I want that property line to, to end I'm gonna hold down shift and then I'm gonna click again and it's gonna draw a line I can keep shift held down just don't click anything and I'm gonna move it down to here and I'm gonna click move my cursor over to here and click come back up click come behind this house click and I gotta extend that which is fine you can just do a click down here click and I can just kinda make this look really nice and just start clicking clicking and now I wanna go from here all the way up to the road click to this corner click and to that corner click imagine if you had a dollar for every time I said click we'd be all we'd all be rich okay so that's uh, how you lay property lines really quickly I'm gonna come over here to my bo uh, bottom layer and just right click flatten image I'm gonna come over here to file save as save on computer you can list this uh, property lines demo and I'm gonna choose well JPEG must have deleted the JPEG but that's okay and I'll throw that on my desktop for this and then save and now this is where you can use yep use JPG I would just use JPG and here's where you can decide on your quality of the image remember for real estate photographer you don't want your files too big otherwise the, it's gonna be too um, time-consuming for the realtor to uh, download these and uh, upload these to the MLS so just hit OK and that's it so leave me a comment below if you have any questions or if you have any other suggestions there's other ways to um, let me show you one more thing here we're gonna duplicate this layer something that I've learned how to do if you want to place like a little marker First of all, I have another video which I will link at the end of this video to getting this. So I have to search for it. House marker. It's called yellow house marker. There it is. And then we'll place it. And I can just drag this down. I'm just holding down this top here. 
clicking and dragging to make that smaller and then you can pick this up and move this now in this particular example yellow doesn't really stand out too well but you get the idea of where you could actually see where the house is in this instance that would be a good idea because it's kind of hard to see what is a house and what's the property but this particular listing it was a little confusing so having property lines really helps show where the property lines are and what lake frontage belongs to that uh, listing so again hope this helps some of you have a great day we'll see you in the next video guys bye bye